Hi everybody, it's Susan from Sunrise Quilt Studio and today I just wanted to give you an update on what's going on with me and just to let you know everything's fine. Uh, I don't have a tutorial today. I haven't had time to work on that. <clears throat> but we are moved. Um, it was quite an ordeal in case you know you've never moved before. It is, it's a big job. And, but we did close on the house on the 10th and we had moved out on the 9th. So uh, the day of the 9th was hectic. It was um, just solid packing and moving and storing. And um, we had a lot of help. Some friends helped us out. Um, they made sure we had food to eat, made sure we stopped to rest when we needed to. And they helped us get everything out of the house and um, a friend of mine helped me do a little bit of cleaning so I kind of cleaned up all the the mess we made as we were, were moving out because it you know you just track in dust when you're moving so um, we got all that done um, moved into our camper our motor home for the night and uh, had a good night got up in the morning uh, went and ate breakfast and then closed on the house and um, then we did a little bit of shopping and we came back and it just kind of settled in. Now, um, we're still settling in. Uh, things haven't gone as smoothly as we would have hoped, but they're, they're okay. Um, we didn't have time to get any propane in the tank in the motorhome, but the first night it was warm, so we didn't need it. The second night it got chilly, so um, that morning we went out and uh, my husband filled the motorhome tank with propane and we bought a couple of small space heaters um, to kind of assist with that because the propane tank is pretty small and uh, where we bought the propane they told us it would only last probably two nights and um, so we thought we would just kind of you know stretch that propane out a little bit longer by putting in some space heaters and actually the camper is heated pretty well with those two space heaters. Um, we just need the propane as a little boost instead of the other way around. So um, that worked out well. Uh, another thing we're working on though is um, the camper has already been winterized, which means they've put that food grade antifreeze in the pipes. And uh, so we need to flush that out and then fill the tank with fresh water. But right now we're, where we're parked, we don't need that because we have access to the building with you know showers and um, you know fresh water so we're fine there but that's something we'll be working on in the next couple of weeks uh, another issue we found out is that um, the electricity that we're plugged into um, for the last two evenings has been uh, tripping the breaker and um, in the building where we're plugged up to so um, that outlet that we're using is also hooked up to um, a parking lot light um, and it, it's like it can't handle both of them at the same time so um, we have to keep going back and forth and resetting the breaker so we've got to figure that out I mean it was fine until two nights ago and we've been in that camper eight nights now so I'm not sure what changed um, but we'll have to figure that out so um, anyway we're doing okay um, the uh, the bed is comfortable enough uh, we've got enough blankets we're staying warm uh, we've got the use of the building to uh, cook our food in so I haven't used the stove yet in the camper um, which is nice that way I have room to spread out and cook because that's kind of how I cook I spread things out so I don't have to cook in a little, you know, one by two area. So it's, so that's been nice. Um, I don't know how long we'll be at this location. We may have, well, we may move to our property here um, maybe in a month. Uh, it's hard to, it's hard to guess uh, right now. Uh, we are meeting with our uh, contractor this weekend and um, he's going to go over the plans with us and um, then go ahead and get the bids for 
all the materials that we need and then uh, he's also going to look at the property and help us choose the best site now we have a site in mind um, but like you said we're, we're putting in a basement and when you dig sometimes you hit rock that can cause um, a lot of problems it either has to be blasted out or you have to move the location of the house so there he's going to kind of look at the terrain and see where we can put it where we have to do the least amount of digging and that's pretty much where we had planned on putting the house anyway so i don't think that's going to be the location of the house isn't going to be a whole lot different this is going to be a, a walkout basement because our lot is slanted and so a walkout basement would probably be the best thing to do and also that way my husband has a place for all his woodworking equipment and tools and all of that stuff so he'll he'll use the basement for that and I'll have a section of it for um, quilting so it'll be a bigger basement than what we had at the other house the other house just had a basement under half of the house it wasn't a full basement so it was a little tight in there um, so we've got all of that going on this weekend and, and then of course Thanksgiving is coming all my kids are coming home uh, to where we're at to our camper and uh, where we're staying right now is at in the the lot that our church is built on that has a is a five acre lot and they already had set up um, a space for people to transition when they're in transition between homes where you can plug in your camper and that kind of thing so that was already there and they already approved that so that's where we're staying so we're going to use the church kitchen uh, to do our cooking and we'll have Thanksgiving there so it's, it's only going to be seven or eight of us it's not going to be a big group uh, but we'll um, do that and uh, in the meantime we're um, still unpacking and you know storing things in the camper and we still have quite a bit of storage space that we aren't using in there so we just need to figure out what's most important to put in there and get that all settled out so when we do move to our property uh, you know we're not missing anything important so uh, you know all of this we're just we're just <laughs> we're flying by the seat of our pants right now basically we're, we're figuring things out as we go which is fine we've got the time to do that and um, camping living in a camper in the winter is you know has its challenges you know you've got the heat and the snow and or you've got the cold in the snow um, and you have to figure out how best to heat your camper without uh, blowing through your propane um, how to insulate it and that kind of thing so we're working on that too so we got lots of stuff going on um, and this morning is work day and um, so I'm filming this before I go to my office this is the library right now but I'll go into the to my office and do my job and um, and it's a it's a short day I'll have half day and then my daughter and I are gonna go shopping afterwards because um, she wants uh, she's she's using a um, sleeping bag because that's the warmest thing for her we and my husband and I are sleeping under three quilts right now and um, and, and it's kind of funny when you lay layer quilts on your bed they for us anyway all the all the quilts want to ease down to the end of the bed but they ease down at different <laughs> different rates like the one on the very bottom which is would be on top of us that one goes down first and then the one on the top goes down second and the one in the middle goes down third so we're constantly pulling them up during the night <laughs> so i i'm not sure what i'm going to do if i'm going to get a great big old puffy comforter or if i'm going to go buy us some sleeping bags i'm not sure what i'm going to do but that's you know it, it, it keeps us from getting good sleep because we're constantly tugging those blankets up so um, i'll figure that out too and then I just need a new wardrobe. Um, my clothes that I'm wearing, I think the newest thing I have is about three years old. Everything else is about 10 years old and um, it's just, they're just needing to be replaced. So uh, I need some work clothes for work. So I need some dress slacks and some sweaters and uh, I need a new pair of shoes. So uh, we're gonna do that and uh, just, you know, 
take the weekend to sort through our stuff in storage, decide what we need in the camper, and uh, you know, just kind of go from there and uh, see if we can figure out any more ways to insulate the camper. Um, it did get pretty cold uh, a couple of nights. It got down into the teens. Um, but the camper stayed warm, so we were we were doing pretty good there. So, um, but we still want to insulate so that we're not using so much electricity and propane, um, and we are paying for that. We are, you know, covering our expenses, so uh, we're not mooching off the church. Okay, so um, in the evenings, um, you know, my our campers at the location where I work. So uh, in the evenings, we, you know, my husband gets home from work, and you know, I cook dinner, and um, you know, we eat, and then we spend the evening um, either, you know, cleaning. My husband's also the janitor here at the church; it's a, a part-time job of his. So he's cleaning. Um, I'm doing stuff on the computer. We have our computer set up here, and uh, I'm doing cross stitch, and um, I haven't gotten um, things set up to quilt yet um, and that's because I cannot find my uh, wool mat. I'm not sure where I put it. It was, isn't in the box I thought I put it in. So um, I'm going to have to go out and get something else. So I don't want to pull in my full-size ironing board in here. So um, I'll either get another wool mat or I'll get one of those um, press and cut mats where you know you it has a cutting mat on one side and then a pressing mat on the other and you can just flip it back and forth. So um, I might get one of those. And I have one of those and I don't know where that one is either. So <laughs> it's a problem when all your stuff is in storage. Um, it's hard to get to it. And it may be in uh, the storage unit um, that the, the furniture movers packed for us and they pack that top to bottom, front to back. and um, there's no way to get to anything unless you want to pull everything out. So we don't want to do that because we'll never get it all back in. So that is going to stay there until the house is built and we move in there. So that was supposed to be all stuff that we weren't going to need. That was the intention anyway. That's the stuff I had them move. But I may have accidentally put my ironing mat and uh, my press and cut in one of those boxes that's in there. I don't, I just don't know. Um, things got kind of hectic there. And uh, so anyway, things are kind of lost in storage unit. <laughs> They're there, I just don't know where they are and I can't get to them. So um, I'm buying a couple of pieces of equipment for or tools for quilting and then hopefully Next week, I don't know if I'll have time to do a video or not. Uh, we'll have to kind of play that by ear. But um, hopefully I can get a tutorial done because I still, I do have the fabric here um, that I wanted to do um, the Christmas ornaments with. So I have that here. So I wanted to get started on that. And um, then I have the other fabric that I have planned for a quilt that it's a spring quilt so I'm going to go ahead and get started on that next after the Christmas ornaments so hopefully um, that will go a little smoother once I get everything located <laughs> so I think I have glance behind me to see I think I have my rotary cutter and my rulers my ruler is yeah, my rotary cutter and my rulers are in with my sewing machine, so I've got that. So, and so that's all here. It's just the ironing, the pressing things that I'm missing. So I need to get those. And then my cutting mat is, the, is here on the floor. It's laying on the floor. So I got almost all the stuff, but I just missed the ironing stuff. And that's another thing, my iron, I don't know where that's at either. So I may have to get another iron. I think I'll get a travel iron. Um, I had one of those years ago, worked fine, so I'll have to, I think I'll do that. I'll get, I'll write that on my list. <laughs> I need a travel iron, I need a press and cut mat, uh, or a wool mat, and uh, then I should be pretty much ready to go. So anyway, 
that is the update for now um, I'll keep you updated as things go on and um, I hope you all having a good month and I hope you all have a good Thanksgiving and hope we have lots of family time and I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching for more quilting ideas click on the video links and to keep up with my latest projects click on the subscribe button I hope to see you again soon